my final thoughts on game three versus Wisconsin and Kemp Rondo. Welcome to Nick Saban Jr. Sports Talk TV. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for tuning in like always. But today's video will be giving y'all my final thoughts about the Wisconsin game. But before we get into it, I will be giving y'all injury updates. Best look, this is what Kellen DeBoer had to say. He said, Cole Adams, I think it's positive steps that we're seeing. Quay Russo, I think he will probably later in the week will be able to do some things for us. That's good things. Malachi Moore, a lot of positive signs with him. And Richard Young, I'm not sure on Richard. We've got to continue to evaluate him. Those are some of the things that basically Kellen DeBoer had gave on his injury report about the players that got hurt uh, in Saturday's game. But here are my final thoughts on the Wisconsin game. Overall, I'm pleased. I am so pleased. Like like I say, during the moment, you fuss, you fuss, here fuss. But you got to ask yourself, 42-10, what the hell did they really do wrong? And they did things wrong. Don't get me wrong. They did things not perfect is what I'm going to say. But overall, I'm seeing the progress. I'm seeing them get better week in and week out. And here is my first thoughts because I had to do a checklist for myself. What was I expecting? I was expecting better offensive line play. Check. I was expecting to clean up the penalties. Only had four penalties. Check. And I was expecting Jalen Miro to do Jalen Miro things. Basically use Jalen Miro to his cover zone. Check. Things that I want to see better, but overall, I'm I'm seeing continuous growth in this team. I'm seeing continuous growth. But here are my first thoughts. Here are my first thoughts. The offensive line, starting five, was absolutely fantastic. Good to have Proctor back. See, with Proctor coming back, and I want to say Elijah Pritchard showed up that uh that uh right tackle position. Uh, this is what I, this is what I'm going to say. He sold that thing up. So now you get to see continuity in the offensive lineman. You get to see these guys gelling, working together more often. And we've seen Saturday what it can look like. We've seen Saturday what, what it can look like. Did we play a elite offense, defense line? No, I don't think so. But I did see a lot of good things out the offensive line. I've seen them get a whole lot better. And let's continue to progress, guys. Ryan Williams continued to uh, continue his dominance. As one of the top true freshmen, this kid is a special guy, man. This kid is a special talent. And, man, by the end of the season, I'm ready to see what this kid is going to be by the end of the season because, listen, this dude is really good, and he's showing it right now as a kid that is 17 that should be a senior in high school right now. Man, my boy Kangaroo Black brought it up. Think about when most of these kids were uh, – most of the guys he playing against – when they came into high school, he was probably like a freshman or a sophomore or something like that. And think about some of these kids been in college so long. Uh, some of these kids, he been playing. They, that when when they got to college, he was a freshman. So think about how advanced Ryan Williams is, man. But number three, LT Overton is a monster, becoming a fearless pass rusher, and will hit you very hard. He was elite. He was the lead this Saturday. LZ Overton, he brought the pain. And that's what I want to continue to see from defense line. Uh, I want to see more guys step up on the defense line. I want to see Saturday, uh, next Saturday on 28th, I want to see more guys bring the same type of dominance on the D-line. Let's get some of the run, run, um, run stoppers in the game on the D-line because Georgia going to run the ball. But, Overall, I'm liking the progress of LT Overton. LT Overton showing why he was one of the top defensive uh, guys coming out in his class. Jam Miller is going to be a household name. Love his explosiveness. It is something about that man, Jam. It is something about that guy. When he gets that ball, how he how he just turns it up. He sees a hole and he hits it. It's like he. He hitting the turbo button. Like you playing a game, he just hit the turbo button to burst of speed. Like the dude is gonna be special. But good job, good job. The defense created turnovers, created turnovers, 
and we had two more turnovers to add to the book. I think we created four 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 forced fumbles, and we got two of them recovered. I love the aggressiveness that they are playing with. Keep that up. Keep the intensity up, defense. Keep it up. Let's go to Jalen Miro is starting to look more comfortable. Keep improving each week. He is starting to look more comfortable in this killing the board offense. And with that being said, he's going to continue to improve. You seen the last week. He continually got better and better and better. And I think a bunch of coach killing the board. He's going to get more comfortable, more comfortable. And when you get more comfortable, now you get to do start opening, like opening, open, seeing him open, seeing him open up more to do more things that he is com comfortable with. But right now we're sticking to his strengths. And I love that about Coach Kelly and the boy with Jalen Miro. Lawson and Campbell are becoming a fearsome linebacker duo. Solid play from both guys. Listen, I was saying in the beginning of the season that these guys have the potential to be the best linebacker duo in the country. And those two guys give me that feel of the old nostalgia type Alabama linebackers. They they're playing with that intensity in my book. And I love what Justin Jefferson is doing along with that group with those guys. Uh the focus on the team on the road was evident. Took care of business and dominated in the hostile environment. That was very key because moving on, we have some tough road games. We're going to got dang on Rocky Top. We're going to got dang, where is it, Death Valley? I thought we're going down to uh, Oklahoma. Was it Norman? Whatever. So we got some tough road games ahead of us. So it was nice to see them coming in Wisconsin, Camp Randall, jumping around. We was over there jumping around too. <laughs> Love it to you, man. We was over there jumping around too. But in, a, in an environment like that, to keep that attention, to keep your foot on the gas, keep your foot on the neck, that was something good to see. That was something good to see. Uh, must clean up outside run. Got gashed a little overall. Still good. And I just think that comes from like, that this, during that moment when they had like their 17 play drive, they, they seen some weakness in defense and they, they exposed it on that drive. They was able to expose it. And honestly, that's just how football goes sometimes, man. That's how, that's how you play the game. If you see a weakness, Keep exposing it until they stop it. That was a good drive by Wisconsin. And I wish I wish we can put – that's what I want. That is what I want to see from Alabama, us to put more drives together like that. I want to put some long drives together like that. But, you know, even with our offense being so explosive, it's going to be hard to see that. But I do want to see us drive the ball upfield more instead of just big explosive plays. I want to see us drive the ball upfield more, you know. But – Yes, we must clean that up on the defensive side. Um, overall, great win on the road. Heading into a bye week. Time to get healthy and get prepared for war in two weeks against the mighty Georgia Bulldogs. We seen the game this Saturday. They won by one point. And I'm just being honest with you guys. It's time to talk football. Guys, if y'all think Georgia going to come out and play that way against us, we are sadly mistaken. If they do, that's a plus for us. But I do not think Georgia is – that game Saturday does not explain Georgia's football team. I'm telling you now. Kirby is not – listen, they had that they had that hiccup, and Kirby was pissed on that sideline. He was pissed on them sideline. So, when they come to Tuscaloosa and play us, we're going to be prepared. But best believe Georgia is going to be prepared as well. And one more thing, during that game, that game, it's been said that Donald Trump is going to be at that game. And I don't want to make this a political thing. I don't want to make this game political. Let's keep it football. But I will say, I don't want him at the game. You know why? Because the last time he came to an Alabama game, they beat the – Clemson beat the Braves off. I think it was Clemson. I think it was the game. Bo Scarborough broke his leg. So, oh, no, he's bad luck. For me, he's bad luck. I don't want to see him at the game, but Donald Trump will be at the game. That, and Donald Trump, I ain't going to lie, that's a good game to go to, man. That's a good game. You picked a good game to go to, Alabama versus Georgia and Tuscaloosa. But, yes, that's, that's all I got for y'all. 
Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this. Hey, Georgia, we coming, baby. Or y'all coming, and we're going to beat the brakes off you. <laughs> nah, it's going to be a good game. Clash of the time. Oh, Clash of Alabama, Georgia. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. And, guys, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like my guy Roll Tide Willis say, Blitz, brother, Blitz, and I don't give a piss about nothing by the Tide. And if you ain't an Alabama fan, you're going to be highly pissed off this season. Roll Tide, let's continue to link up. And I'm out, baby. Deuces.